Nobody does adventure better than Indy. We are going to die! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Indiana Jones moments. No ticket. For this list, we're taking a look at the most fun, innovative, and iconic moments from the Indiana Jones franchise. Whiskey. Also, as you can expect, we will be discussing some crucial plot points, so a spoiler alert is probably in order. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Number 10, Indiana Jones Origins, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. What are they doing? Indiana. Indiana. Shh. Even as a Boy Scout, Indiana Jones demonstrated the makings of a true adventurer and an archaeologist. It's the cross of Coronado. Cortez gave it to him in 1520. When a group of grave robbers uncovers Coronado's golden crucifix, Indy snatches the artifact so it can be preserved in a museum. Dig with your hands, that was your mouth. In an inventive chase across a circus train, the filmmakers sum up Indy's entire origin story. We see why he's horrified of snakes, how he became so handy with a whip, where he got that scar across his chin, and of course, where he got his legendary fedora. You lost today, kid. But it doesn't mean you have to like it. River Phoenix hits just the right note, making the audience truly believe he's a young Harrison Ford. Holy smoke. Number nine, Minecart Chase, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Short round! Quit fooling around with that kid! Get down in the cart now! There's nothing like a good old-fashioned minecart chase, especially when it involves Indiana Jones. <laughs> Swinging into a cart, Indy flees from his attackers with Willy and Short Round. Unfortunately, taking the right tunnel was the wrong decision, as they're sent on a deadly roller coaster ride. We got company! With Mola Rom's men hot on their tail, the trio race for their lives across the rickety tracks. Let her go, our only chance to outrun them! Just when it looks like they can catch their breath, however, a flood almost sends them to a watery grave. From start to finish, it's an exhilarating sequence that clearly had a significant influence on Donkey Kong Country. Number 8. Motorcycle Chase – Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull See those two bricks over there at the counter? I don't think they're here for the milkshakes. Indy's fourth adventure wasn't exactly his best outing, but it isn't without a few stellar moments. Get that greaser! This sequel's best sequence is a rousing motorcycle pursuit where Indy teams up with Mutt, played by Shia LaBeouf. Get on, Chris! Driving around Marshall College, the two attempt to give a couple of KGB agents the slip. Where the film's other set pieces utilize pre-visualization, stunt coordinator Dan Bradley mapped out this chase with storyboards. Go, 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 go! Steven Spielberg also improvised much of the action on set. Humorous, whimsical, and not heavily reliant on CGI, this scene truly takes us back to Indy's glory days. It even works in a nice memorial to Marcus Brody. <laughs> Number 7. Tank Battle Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Where's my father? This scene has several elements that make for an epic chase, such as trucks and horses. The key ingredient here, however, is a tank that holds Marcus and Henry captive. Kind of a bagel. Thanks to Indy's clever maneuvering, the tank ironically hurts the Nazis more than anyone else. Aside from the well choreographed vehicle combat, this scene also incorporates some gunslinging <laughs> and a hand to hand melee. Just as the audience is left on the edge of their seats, the tank is sent over the edge of a cliff. While it appears Indy has met his end, he manages to hang on for dear life and shares a heartfelt reunion with his father. Well done. Come on. Number 6. Opening the Ark Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Shut your eyes, Mary, and don't look at it no matter what happens. There are some things in this world not meant for mortal eyes, but it seems that's a lesson the villains in Indiana Jones movies never learn. 
throughout Indy's original journey, the audience is left wondering what's inside the Ark of the Covenant. We finally get to see the Ark's contents in the film's climax, but Indy and Marion know to look away. It's a good thing they resist temptation, as Belloc and his men meet a ghastly fate as they unleash Angels of Death. Demonstrating some of the best and freakiest effects in the entire franchise. The Nazis are melted to a fiery pulp. <laughs> Number 5. Cutting the Bridge – Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom <laughs> Indiana Jones has gotten himself into countless seemingly inescapable situations. This is a prime example, as Indy and his friends are cornered on a rope bridge. Welcome. With both sides guarded, our hero creates a third option by cutting the bridge in half. <laughs> You know what? He's crazy! With bone-crushing crocodiles waiting at the bottom, this move is completely crazy, if not suicidal. Prepare to meet Kali in hell! Oh! Put out away! Indy miraculously survives the maneuver, but has yet another near-death experience as he clings to the bridge's dangling remains. It all comes down to a thrilling final confrontation where Indy sends Mola Ram to meet his end. <laughs> That's what he gets for betraying Shiva. Oh my god. <laughs> Number 4. He chose poorly. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. We knew you would come. In order to reach the Holy Grail, Indy must complete three stages. Man is humble. Kneels before God. Kneels! <gasps> The first stage challenges Indy physically, the second stage puts his wits to the test, and the third requires him to take a leap of faith. But even after all that, a final stage awaits. Passes to you who vanquished me. Meeting a really, really old knight at the end of the line, Indy must single out the real grail from a few dozen other chalices. You choose wisely, for as the true grail will bring you life. False will take it from you. Donovan and Elsa join Indy, entranced by the myth of the Grail, and the deceptive Elsa convinces the villainous Donovan to drink from a golden cup. It's more beautiful than I'd ever imagined. This scene is full of hair-raising tension, first-rate effects, and strong atmosphere, all of which lead up to Indy's ultimate decision. He chose poorly. Number three. Human Sacrifice, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Ma. This second entry in the indie franchise is cited as one of the films that caused the establishment of the PG-13 rating. Watching this horrifying scene, we can definitely see why. <laughs> Indy and the gang stumble upon a hidden ceremony, which looks like hell on earth complete with satanic scenery. The menacing Mola Ram rips a man's heart right out of his chest. As if that's not graphic enough, the human sacrifice is then lowered into a flaming pit. It's understandable why this scene scarred the kiddies for life. For the older audiences, however, it's still heart-pounding. Why'd they glow like that? Number 2. Shooting the Swordsman Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark The Indiana Jones movies feature some of the most extravagant and over-the-top set pieces in cinema, so it's kind of ironic that one of the standout moments in the franchise is actually pretty anticlimactic. When a gifted swordsman confronts Indy, it looks like we're in store for a stimulating duel. <laughs> Since Harrison Ford had come down with a serious case of diarrhea, though, he convinced Steven Spielberg to just let him shoot the sucker. On the one hand, this could be viewed as lazy. On the other hand, it's hilarious, unexpected, and wonderfully exemplifies what makes Indiana Jones such a unique hero. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? That's the Maharaja, kid. Maybe he liked older women. 
I came here to save you. Oh, yeah? And who's going to come to save you, Junior? I told you. Don't call me Junior. Number one, Temple Escape, Indiana Jones, and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Stop. Stay out of the light. This legendary opening has phenomenal buildup as Indy slowly walks towards and snatches a golden idol. It seems like his dodge has worked at first, but of course the adventure is just getting started. This endlessly creative set piece throws everything at our protagonist. Darts, collapsing doors, giant boulders. Even after our hero escapes the temple, he can't catch a break. Chased by a tribe, Indy just barely makes it to his plane when he finds his greatest fear, a snake. There's a big snake in the plane, Jock! Oh, that's just my pet snake, Reggie! The scene perfectly embodies the spirit of Indiana Jones, gets the ball rolling, and never slows down. I hate snakes, Jock! I hate them! Do you agree with our list? It's a matter of opinion! What's your favorite Indiana Jones moment? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You are one crazy old man. <laughs>